Hi there everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matthew Tomato. Welcome back to The Sims. We are playing here in our attempt to build a block of flats. Uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, we got Crash to... Uh, well, he's actually fallen in love with Roxy, but uh, the, the idea being that he's not going to need to fall in love because... Um, the only real purpose is because he's a guy and she's a girl, you can't just get her to move in. You have to actually propose to them, uh, which is, you know, kind of weird, but nevertheless, that's one of those things. Um, and we spent some time upgrading the flats. So Holly's flat still lacks any kind of kitchen at all, um, although she doesn't really need it because uh, with the routine we've got going at the moment, she always goes over to Hannah's flat to eat. Uh, because she's a really good cook. But Holly's flat actually looks rather nice now, and uh, we're probably going to start filling this in over time as we get more money and things like that, and as we develop up the uh, the block. Um, we also got Crash's flat over here. We did a little bit of the uh, the flooring in the kitchen, and again, there's some space over here that needs to be padded out as well. So uh, at the moment, I'd say that Crash's flat is probably the best in terms of uh, units and facilities and what's actually in it. But strangely enough, even though I'm not sure I like the colours, I actually think that uh, Holly's looks best in terms of uh, ambient, like the, the overall aesthetics of what it actually looks like. Even though the colours are all funky and really odd. And then this is sort of something that I would tend to build. These are the colours that I tend to use by default normally. I've almost always used these colours as a good starting block, and I believe that's just, you know, the way it is. And, um, you know, maybe we could upgrade the units at some point, especially if... Hannah is the uh, the big cook. She probably needs a really rather lovely kitchen. Whereas at the moment, Crash, who isn't necessarily the cook, actually has all the nice units. So we could move it around, I suppose. There'd be no harm in that. But uh, ultimately, I want to upgrade to some of the really nice units. And probably the, the really big cooker as well. The big silver cooker and the big American fridge as well. The, the big silver one. So there's, there's lots of things we can do so that we can emphasize the personalities that each of these people has. You know, so... Uh, Crash is good at, you know, creativity, so he's got the guitar, we might eventually get in the piano. And then, of course, uh, Holly is good at sort of logic, so she's got the chessboard, she's got the easel, I don't know why actually she's got the easel, because she needed a creativity skill point. And so then we could then get the cooking facilities for um, Hannah, so we could make it work like that. Lovely stuff. Okay, so uh, we need to get... Uh, Crash needs to be up relatively soon. Uh, he'll need to eat that plate, of course. So when you're done, you need to change for work and then come and play chess, which is what you almost always do. Uh, let's get Crash up here real quick. Let's just get him to uh, spray those whilst they're in that flat there. And then he can come and grab a plate, even though he's going to make some food for when Melody comes around, or hopefully comes around anyway. So once he's done that, he'll need to clean everything up. He'll then need to use the loo and then shower. Uh, oh, Hannah doesn't actually... Ha oh, there's a lot of spillage over there. Did that break? Oh, the sink broke. Right. Uh, well, luckily, she's the one with the mechanical skill. Uh, even though she gets annoyed with it, I'm still going to get her to repair that. If anything, she probably does need to do a little bit more mechanical studying here. So what I might get her to do is, instead of the chess... Um, oh, I accidentally swapped there. Uh, come and turn on the TV, watch some TV, and then she's going to study some mechanical. I think she's going to need to be able to repair things a bit quicker than that. Uh, although, really, Crash should probably be the one who does it, because he's the one who's at home. But then he's working on family friends, so... Right, so once he's done in the shower... Um, I might just get him to plonk his backside over here for a bit. Okay, good. Turn off study mechanical. And as soon as it gets to 7am, we're going to go ahead and we're going to phone up Melody and we're going to see if we can get her to come over and make a family friend there. In which case, uh, is it Holly? No, it's uh, Hannah who's on course for the promotion at that point. So She's not far off getting that mechanical skill point. And uh, yeah, I was just going to say, another logic skill point for Holly as well. I suppose maybe whilst we were waiting, we could have got him to do some studying. Um... Right, you need to phone up Farmer Melody. There we go. Invite over. Mechanical skill point. Excellent. Uh, yes, okay, she is coming over. Lovely. So, so I've done, I did that before. Um, serve up some breakfast. Right, Holly, when you're, you need to come out here. 
And uh, see, this is the difficulty with uh, managing all these people. Um, and this is, of course, with only three people. Ultimately, we're going to end up with probably quite a lot of people in here. So free will is going to come on, and that could be really funny. Um, give your sister a hug. Right, uh, Holly's actually there, so there we go. Send you to work. Pause, because, uh, right, you are just standing there, that's okay. So you can come over here and greet, and then we need to do the uh, change the PJs and sleep. Holly, when you come home, change the PJs and sleep. Usual shebang. Okay, right. What the hell? Why is that car just sat there? Is there someone in the road? Alright, I don't know, maybe there was somebody in the road, but didn't see it. Okay, so this time we've actually served up some food for her, so... Ah, oh, see, they don't get on when they talk here. Maybe it's her opinion of him is not great. Ugh, it's typical, isn't it? And she's gone all the way over there to get rid of her. Right, turn on the TV. Right, come on, watch TV. Come on. And the issue, of course, is, is probably her opinion of him is not that brilliant. That's probably why that there's no family friend there. And again, it's going to be the same sort of thing here, though. No, yes, yeah, they don't get on when they do this. So this is obviously one of those situations where if they were in a relationship, this would be really difficult to uh, to actually keep going. Uh, talk. Hug. Turn off TV. Right, we need to make sure that... No, it just doesn't like that. Oh, dear. Nah, she uh, clearly doesn't feel the same. <laughs> this is tough work, this. See, they got on there. If they talk about politics, it's fine. She's a very difficult person to get on with. Crash is quite easy to get on with. He talks about all sorts, but... Um, No, it's, this is really difficult. I probably picked the wrong person for this. See, his opinion of her is fantastic. She really isn't keen on him. If they talk about science, it's okay as well. <laughs> so science and politics are the two things that they uh, they obviously get on with. But she needs to, she really needs to be a family friend here. This all this effort will be for naught. There goes William. Oh, come on. No, not interested in that either. Talk. Joke, maybe? Right, here's Hannah. So this is tough going. Like, his opinion of her is 100, and yet she's still not a family friend. That is... Nope, it's not happening. Holly's home. Hug. And hooray! Finally! Goodness me, that was a real tough piece of work. Right, get her another hug and then ask her to leave. Absolutely insane, that. Gee whiz, what a pain. Right. Another hug, and then get get rid of her. There we go, right. So that is now successful, so unfortunately it's going to mean that uh, when it comes to uh, Hannah, Hannah's promotion, she'll have to wait another day, uh, which is one of those things. But I'm pretty sure she will get it, so that's going to be, you know, pretty good. She'll get the bonus money and everything as well, which is going to be fantastic. So, right, he needs to basically just go to bed now. Good. 
it. Okay, so yes, promotions. Um, he doesn't actually need to invite anybody round, does he? No, so he could probably get up quite late uh, as a result. Uh, he doesn't need to invite anybody because they're, they're already family friends. So, ooh, got up a bit late there, uh, Hannah. Okay, so uh, as a result, because they're family friends, uh, it won't dwindle that quickly. So he can afford to take a day where maybe he will sit and hopefully someone will walk past and he can maybe introduce himself to somebody new. Uh, that would be the hope, anyway. Uh, can I make your bed, please? Goodness me. Um, <laughs> I thought she did that already by default anyway, because she was quite a neat person, but... Pfft. Who am I? <laughs> and... You don't need... No, nope, that's okay, right, so... Come over here, then. Ah, see, now we can see these... Uh, we can see these spillages as well. Thanks to this uh, carpet here, we can clearly see that there is a big spillage on the floor there, so that's good. Oh, what? You're not tidy enough either, for goodness sake. All the neatness has gone out the window here for just about everyone. <laughs> okay, so when you're done, uh, come over here, change for work, and sit down over here. That's okay. Cool, right. So Crash can just take a plate from here, that'll be fine. He doesn't, he's not inviting anybody over, so it doesn't matter. Cool, okay. Actually, you might as well just play, to be honest. Uh -huh. And then you can go and join. Right. Um, oh, this gra is free. You're probably talking about a cooking. That's a, a cooking reference, that is. Uh, okay, right. Let's get him up a little bit earlier here, actually. Let's, uh, I mean, firstly, let's go and work on that. Make beds, and then uh, come over here, and then clean everything up. Even though both of them left their plates there, like rotters. <laughs> I've always loved that laugh when one of them beats the other. It's brilliant. Cool. Okay, so these two are generally pretty in good spirits. That's great, uh, because Holly, of course... Uh, sorry, Hannah is uh, on course for that promotion. Uh, he's come over here to eat that now. Very interesting. Maybe he is going to have to start making his own food. It costs more, though. But her food is so good that... It's, it's insane, because it's treated as one house, isn't it? They, they, they refer it to as one house. Excellent. Right, uh, keep going. These two are, are doing really well, so let's keep keep up with that. Also, uh, Hannah's quite close to another point there as well, so... Right. Excellent. Use... Clean and shower, usual shebang. Okay, give her a hug. Come out here. We'll get to Crash to uh, recycle these papers here as well. Which will be a uh, good idea because they're starting to rack up over this way. Good, okay. Um, recycle, recycle. Okay, so again, when they get home. Change to PJs and sleep. She didn't make her bed. Uh, change to PJs and sleep. But hopefully there will be a promotion here for Hannah, which will be great because uh, we can invest that money back into things. Uh, there's probably some bills here as well. Yeah, so let's get uh, get Crash to sort out the bills. Oh, there's been a breakage. The repair, uh, the shower has broken. Fantastic. There we go. Right. Get rid of all of these papers. If anyone happens to walk past, though, then we will obviously, um... Goodbye! <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. Right, these are probably a day overdue. 458. Okay, right. Um... Come and, uh, clean all this up here. Oh, there's Jay. Oh, I should have probably introduced ourselves there. I was more like hoping that uh, someone else would walk past. Now I could just get uh, Hannah to fix it, but in truth I think I'm just going to uh, bring the repairman in to sort that out, because the shower is notoriously harder to repair. Yeah, just, uh, just bring him out, seriously. There we go. Right, now watch some TV, because you're bored. And hopefully someone is going to walk past here. Hopefully. Uh, oh, that's the repairman. What's his name again? Bruno. That's it. I couldn't remember his name. Yeah, just go and, just go and fix that. Uh, oh, that's William. 
No, I would have... He has rung the doorbell, though. Yeah, okay then. He's rung the doorbell. Let's do it. Right, go and introduce yourself to William. This is, uh... Melody's husband, I think. I believe this is Melody's husband, if I remember correctly. Right. Yeah, introduce yourself. He looks like fun. Oh, no, it's not. It's, um... This is, uh... It's not Melody's husband. Uh, this is, um... Yes, this is, uh, one of Katie's created characters. Uh, William King. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I just recognised him there. Uh, that's good. Okay, unfortunately he does live with other people, so he can't... If he moves in, he can't actually be eligible for the... Uh, for, for making all the money, uh, which is annoying. But at the same time, he can be a bit like Melody. He could be another uh, long-term family friend. Uh, he's coming in here. Oh, there's Phil. That would have been a better... That would have been better, because Phil lives on his own, so we'll have to get uh, introduced to him at some point. Uh, okay, Hannah is home, and she has been promoted! Excellent! She is now in the Extreme Circuit Pro. So, snowboards in winter, mountain bikes in spring, kayaks in summer, and skateboards in the autumn. You've entered the year-round pro circuit. Uh, development of logic skill can be uh, a good way to developing strategies for getting promoted. Cooking tricks is a good idea as well. Well, that's okay, uh, because she is an expert cook anyway. So she now earns 400 and got a bonus of 800. Fabulous stuff. Let's put in a quick pause here. Uh, is he... He is coming to watch TV. Okay. Um, so what does she need now? She just needs three family friends, which is absolutely brilliant. So she might actually get promoted again if uh, Crash can make this work here. She might get promoted again here. Pretty good. Okay, uh, some stranger has just walked out of uh, Hannah's flat. I would imagine that I would find that pretty damn disturbing. Uh, these two get on quite well, actually, sat here as well. They, that's pretty good. Right, Holly's home as well. Fabulous. Uh, I'm actually going to use some of the money here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually put in some of these kitchen units. Really cool. Yeah, let's put in some of these kitchen units here. Um, trash compactor, trash compactor, fridge, and cooker is all we actually need here. So let's put one of those in. Trash compactor, fridge, cooker. Yeah, there we go. Okay, excellent. Uh, I suppose we could maybe you know make it look more kitcheny. Uh, well, we could put in the. Um, food processor. And uh, one thing I was also thinking maybe, uh, let's put the food processor there, we'll put the cooker in there and the trash compactor in there. Um, let's also get the um, coffee machine. That's usually a popular one with people who visit as well. Um, although that would probably be better actually put in uh, Crash's apartment. Crash's flat rather, but yeah, no, that's okay. We'll, we'll put it in there. I'm sure that's going to be okay. Let's get the coffee machine as well. Or the espresso machine, I should say. <laughs> so it looks a bit more like an actual kitchen now. And this is just going to be a throughway, basically. So we'll just put the units in here and we'll probably leave it like that. We might put like a rug or something down here. Uh, there's no need to have anywhere to eat, like a dining space. I don't think that's necessary. Although if we were adamant of installing one, we could. Right, just a table here and a couple of chairs. It wouldn't be too difficult, really. Um, like, we could put in almost like a desk. Like, we could just put a desk in there and then a couple of seats. But no, we don't, we don't need to. It's not needed. Or we could maybe move the units over to here. So we can cook it for a and then put something in the corner here. Which would be another way of doing it, I suppose. So we could maybe put like a desk, almost like a desk there, and just have a couple of chairs. And it kind of disrupts the flow of... Uh, I'm not sure. I suppose we could actually, to be fair. So, what if I actually did this? 
So if we put the trash compactor in there, move that to there, so then that forms a unit, and then we can have... So we've got the sink there, so we can put the cooker in the... So the cooker there, and then the fridge there, and then the trash compactor there, I suppose. That would be okay. And so then we can actually have somewhere to sit here. So if she did want to have anybody over, or if she wanted to, then... Although I'm actually tempted to put it that way instead. Actually, no. Uh, I'm going to put it against the wall. That would be better. So then they can just sort of, you know, eat there, if necessary. Cool! Okay, we'll do it like that. I think that's it, just so it looks a bit more, you know, kitchen-y, so that's fine. Cool! Right, let's go with that then. Sure. Uh, right, so we need to work on this, uh, well, yeah, I'd like to work on a family friend here. Right, uh, so we didn't like talking about... Yeah, I reckon we could... We could make this happen here right before uh, he gets too tired. Because everybody else is asleep and he doesn't need to invite anybody over, so... We might be able to just about make this happen here. Because he's getting tired, so obviously he won't want to do much. Definitely not dance. <laughs> yeah, because he, he's going to get tired, so it's... There we go. Excellent. Right, let's um, maybe just talk a little bit more, make sure to consolidate it a little bit. There's uh, there's his wife. That's Virginia. Um, that's William's wife walking past. Um, and then asked to leave. <laughs> that's going to work out okay. Yeah. All right. So now both Hannah and Holly are on courses for promotion. And in fact, Hannah's earning more than uh, Holly now. But uh, Hannah, yeah, they both got the same amount of promotions. So, interesting. Okay, we're probably going to get a couple of promotions in here. And I think once we've done that, we could probably then maybe invite Roxy around and get her to move in. Because at that point, we can bank the promotion money and the money from the move-in to invest in the flat. So I reckon that's a tremendous idea. Uh, okay, sure. Um, actually, get rid of those whilst they're there. That's because the toilet needs cleaning. It's the only reason that that's there. Okay, brilliant. Okay, and then when you're done, use the loo, clean it, then shower, usual stuff. Um, yeah, she's pretty good at everything here, so just come and sit over this way. Uh, no, that's okay. I couldn't remember if they were in uh, they're in Crash's flat, so you can deal with it. Right, then clean that up, then change for work, come over here. Good. Okay, we've got we've actually got a working routine here, and I'm a little bit scared of actually messing it up with free will, to be honest. Because <laughs> I think once the fourth person comes in, I'm going to go with free will, and we're going to make it fun. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether we can uh, we can manage it at all. I do need to remember the hotkey for uh, disabling the last task. Does it actually remember it? He, uh, she's off to Vinian's uh, <laughs> flat here to go ahead and use the dishwasher because <laughs> it counts as one big, uh, one big property. So they, they always do it. It's brilliant. Uh, oops, uh, come and join. Okay, excellent. Right, Finian, up you get. Make um, get rid of these. Use the loo. Clean the loo. Go and grab yourself a plate. Assuming he washes his hands after doing that. 
Assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. Yeah, I know, dude. Oh, he did. Excellent. Right. Uh, play. Join. Good. Right, so now he is going to be able to eat. Uh, he doesn't need to invite anybody over, does he? Oh, I suppose we could have invited Roxy. But then there's no guarantee. Yeah, so we'll, we'll wait. Uh, we'll wait another day uh, before doing that. Okay, uh, carpools. Excellent. So once he's cleaned all of that up, uh, come and have a shower. These two get on really well, which is great. So yeah, we'll invite uh, Roxy over for the next day. Right, out here you come. <laughs> also, these two means their social meters constantly kept up as well, which is brilliant. So, okay, so these. Oh yeah, she's got work clothes now. I forgot about that. Um, that's true. She's earned enough promotions that she's got uh, she's got work clothes. But now both of these two are on course to get promoted here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's going to work out. Right, he doesn't actually need to meet anybody here at the moment. She gets on really well. Roxy, yeah, okay, sure. So what can we get him to work on? Uh, actually, I was thinking maybe we should get him to work on some mechanical skill here. So I'll tell you what, you need to turn that off, and you're going to start working on um, actually being a handyman around the house. I can't remember his bio, though. Uh, what's his bio? Uh, how do you see the bio again? That is... Oh, I know. I can't remember how you see the bio. Oh well, I've uh, completely forgotten how that works. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to work on... Uh, he needs to work on being a handyman. Um, somehow he still has his job as well. <laughs> He's never been to work, but he still got the job. <laughs> he could just go to work whenever he fancied... A you know, he, he hasn't been in for weeks. Maybe he's on, like, an extended period of leave. Because <laughs> he's got to meet people. I don't know, maybe he's on sabbatical. That, that's a good idea. Maybe that, that's a good way of seeing it. And uh, my game has actually just crashed here. Um, so I'm going to have to now try and work out. You, can't, you guys can't see it, but I've just had the good old prompt that says uh, the game has crashed. So... We're going to have to restart from the point of... Uh, actually, I'm just going to try and get to this point here. I'm going to get to 12pm uh, here. And uh, I'm going to attempt to have a look. So I uh, can't remember when we last saved. It was probably when we built the kitchen stuff. So most of it's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, I'll try and get to this point And then uh, we will resume gameplay. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been myself, Hunter Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series. And join me next time for uh, the recovery of The Sims <laughs> Deluxe Edition. Where hopefully we are going to get two promotions for the two sisters. And then possibly get Roxy to move in. In which case we'll then be able to build another set of flats. We'll go up a floor. And uh, hopefully it's all going to be good and dandy. See you later, guys.